Hey guys, I want to talk about the disease of the black solidified lava and I think a lot of people have encountered one of <clears throat> one of them that's the fungus attack and let me describe it so when you see uh, the fungus attack the pan <clears throat> you see the lava in the pan move much slowly it just looks unhealthy and then the substrate is never dry and it's cooler the temperature is cooler <clears throat> and they start eating um, and it develops as you see a few dying on the surface and I know you have been trying to remove those uh, diseased ones but unfortunately once you see a few dying in this pan the whole pan will die uh, and that's no uh, non methods to rescue the diseased larvae if the fungus um, attack exists so let me dig around oh. and after well this pan has been a, a disease for a long time we induced we successfully induced this disease and we believe it's a combination of overfeeding and uh, and a couple different uh, factors but in our lab we now can successfully uh, induce the disease and that helps to understand more about this one as we go uh, so this one after everything is dying uh, and you can see the the white the whitish stuff and that's the fungus uh, that's the fungus that uh, uh, kill this thing and this one is even more severe the fungus breaks uh, uh, very severe and even after two weeks time the pan is still wet it's still wet underneath and there's uh, there's still one alive it's still moving but uh, to me it's it's just uh, not healthy even even though it's still alive um, it's affected and it just moves much slower it's not doing what it's supposed to do <clears throat> and this is how uh, this is how first you will notice there's a few dying on top of it there's some carcasses if you leave it too long because the uh, the live lava is trying to eat those dead ones and that's how they uh, the disease spread out uh, and this is the carcasses and if I dig underneath you see this pan has never been opened so the underneath stuff is just the fungus and you see oh, okay. well this one it's it's terrible it's terrible and the way uh, whenever you see this disease you have to remove the pan immediately and wash hands, wash the pans, wash uh, all your tools because if you don't do that as you go it's gonna infect all your colony your colony will collapse to nothing uh, but I do want to add to one point of this disease the fungus disease is uh, it's more likely to develop in the uh, in the larger lava size uh, in the smaller like the neonates they are unlikely to uh, they are unlikely to get this disease and after they uh, during the post feeding uh, during the post feeding uh, stage uh, they are unlikely to get the disease as well and once they into the post feeding the pre pupil stage they can successfully uh, emerge into adults so it does seem like it's uh is the uh, intake of fee that gets them the disease so uh we are sending samples to uh sequence and once we got the results back we'll know what exactly is causing the disease uh but here uh <clears throat> this one of the disease and 
the key that's uh, a recap of this disease uh, once the once the larva gets this disease it moves slower and the substrate never gets dry and they stop feeding and they uh, the one key characteristic of disease is up uh, uh, when they die they surface to die they don't die underneath or uh, uh, they don't most of them will die on the surface uh, and there's another disease I'm gonna show you ah uh, I gonna I'm going to remove my my gloves because ah uh, I don't want to contaminate the other part uh, even though it's also dead and uh, because we are trying to uh, do some sequence work so I don't want to contaminate it Ah, the both. Okay, here, uh, in the pot. Uh, where's my stick? Okay, my stick is gone. So, in this part, there's something different. It's not the fungus. Uh, well, they, you see a lot of dye on the top, but because uh, this part has much. Uh, larger densities and and if I flip on top you see most of them are underneath they don't so I don't think this one is surface to die and it develop much slower than the fungus attack uh, let me place my camera here Uh, yes, so this disease, uh, the fungus attack can develop within five days. Once you see the, uh, the first die off, the rest of the pan will die within a week. But in, in this disease, uh, it has been a week and there's still uh, some leaf leaving. I don't know if they are... Well, eventually, I know they will die because they would, uh, they stop, they stop uh, 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 metamorphism. They will not enter to the next life stage. Uh, even those, uh, uh, those already into the prepupal, they are die. They are die. Unlike the fungus attack, once they enter the post feeding stage, they will hatch into adults, but not but not this disease uh, this disease uh, and if I dig around there's no fungus uh, culture that you can spot uh, uh, we we don't know much about this disease yet uh, we don't even know what is causing it uh, but uh, we are going to sequence it and see what's in here versus uh, the fungus culture as well as the uh, the healthy colony. And then once we know what is uh, what is causing this, we will think about uh, uh, methods to prevent or to treat the disease. Uh, because it's quite a lot. In this part, we have about. Uh, uh, 300,000 lava and they all gonna die <clears throat> so uh, so it's uh, we feel like we feel like it's a uh, you see there's still quite a lot uh, quite a few living um, <clears throat> and it has been a week <clears throat> since this disease developed uh, but we kind of feel like ah uh, this disease is the either or not existing, uh, which means if a part has the disease, it will develop. If it does not, it will live on. So uh, it only developed in our this part, uh, one of our part, and the other part is still uh, okay. And that also brings us to think about what is causing it and what's going on. Uh, 
and it, this disease is also species uh, specific and like the, the stable flies and the house fly larva in this part is not affected it only affects the soldier fly larva <clears throat> so it's not the diptera uh, disease it's the more like a strati myidae disease <clears throat> so uh, uh, I, I just want to share this information and I know a lot of people get this disease and they don't know what to do with it um, but today uh, the most effective way uh, there's no way to cheat it uh, we have tried multiple we have tried a dozen of methods and so far it's still frustrating but uh, <clears throat> one way uh, always suggest to do is clean out everything that get the disease and then start over that's your best chance for now uh, but if you have methods to battle this disease as well as the fungus disease uh, comment here let us know and we can work together and maybe we can standardize the procedures to uh, prevent or treat uh, the lost and thank you very much